YouTube. Hello. Uh, was I here from the box back for my Halloween contribution 2015. Just watched House of Wax. Imported this from the US. Uh, to watch this. Um, it is a body horror. It is a classic case of a body horror on Blu-ray. Um, O5's House of Wax. I've not seen the original. I've not seen um, Vincent Price's original. Um, this movie was made and released in the time when I went for about 13 years of not, virtually not even putting the television on, um, which was round about, like I've said in the past on the channel, it was about, about 1995 to about 2010, uh, I never never watched the telly, never put a movie on, um, I was just travelling throughout Europe, working etc, um, etc, etc. I never watched any movies, I never watched any tele, ne never sat down for the telly on once probably. Um, this movie came, was made and released in, a, in a, and amongst that period of time when the rise of body horrors the rise of body horrors when the rise of body horrors were becoming prominent it was becoming prominent um, very popular body horrors were becoming very popular in that time period where I laid off movies where I never never had any real interest in movies and television etc um, I never caught any of the origins I never saw any of the beginnings of of body horrors and never saw how they began uh, to where they are now today. Um, as it happens, I don't like body horror movies. In hindsight, I don't like them. I like to avoid them. On putting this movie on, uh, I saw this was reviewed on a subs channel. Uh, Philip Harrison's channel. Is it for you, Philip Harrison? Um, recently subbed to you, matey, and you reviewed House of Wax recently. I thought I would do. A I thought I would pick it up and do a review of it um, for my contribution for this year's Halloween. But as you've done such a splendid job, I just thought for a laugh because the actor is it Chad Michael Murray, the fair haired lad in this, was just so beautiful, damn beautiful in it. The fair haired lad in it, the one with the your skinhead walking around in a white vest for a portion of the film. Just an outstanding beauty in it. I thought this up my twist on my contribution for this year's Halloween. I thought I would do my top ten most beautiful men in my movie library and most of my movies I own. Get me? So what I've done is I've thrown this in the mix of the top ten. I'm not going to tell you where. You can find out where. Chad Mahomori. I think that's the fair hair that in this comes. Right. So here we go. Grim and Burry. I'm going to do it now. Right. Number 10. Clint Eastwood. Paint your wagon. Number 9. Paul Walker. In, from Into the Blue. Number 8. Chang Tatum. In The Eagle. Number 7. Martin Henderson in Pride and Prejudice. Number six, Chris Evans, the first Fantastic Four. Five, Chris Evans in Lost of the Teardrop Diamond. Four, we have the original Mad Max, Mel Gibson in Mad Max. Three, we have Aaron Eckhart in Paycheck. Two, which was my number one until an hour ago. Viggo Mortensen in The Young Americans, being replaced by Chad Michael Morey. Hope I've got his name right. Chad Michael Morey from House of Wax. Just. I don't think men could be any more beautiful. I don't think a man could possibly be any more beautiful than that dude in the House of Wax. Don't know where they got him from. There's my 
my top 10. There's my, my happy year's Halloween 2.15. That's my contribution. Hope you enjoyed it.